Stafford. End zone. The ball is juggled, and the Bears come up with it. An interception by Jonathan Anderson. Looked like a touchdown, but not held on to by Tate. And it's ruled a pick for Chicago. Tate thinks otherwise. There's Anderson. This will be reviewed automatically because it's a turnover. The rookie from TCU just brought up from the active roster. Let's see it. Right here, Golden Tate against Kyle Fuller. And no, it's not a touchdown. I know Golden Tate is saying that he had possession of it, but because he was being contacted by the DB before he went to the ground, he has to maintain possession to the ground, and he did not do it there. Yeah, don't tell the Lions and Calvin Johnson about yeah, that right. rule. The league is still trying to determine the exact verbiage for what's a catch and not a catch. I mean, really, that's just a great play by Kyle Fuller. I mean, he was all over the that route. The play will be reviewed. He was all over that route. <laughs> and he's you, Walt yeah, Thanks, Walt. <laughs> but he stuck with it. Could have easily let that go, but watch him fight on this ball all the way to the end of the play. And right there, that, I'd say that's a touchdown, right? Golden Tate, ball in his hands. It's the other foot down. And the other, well, it's not going to matter. He still has to control the ball all the way to the ground because of this new rule. And then he pulls it out, and obviously Anderson right there to catch the tip. I think this is going to stay as an interception. And Anderson followed the bouncing ball with a Bears takeaway. Let's bring in our Fox rules analyst. He set the standard, Mike Pereira. And Mike, as you review this, what are they looking for on the official review? Well, I think Ronda is absolutely right. What they're looking at is the process of the catch here. Did he clearly become a runner? Because breaking the plane does not apply until you become a runner. And what you're going to get is here in slow motion, it looks like it might be. But I'll tell you, the ball gets stripped out very quickly. And so to me, he does not become the runner, not able to ward off contact. So to me, since it's ruled incomplete or it's actually ruled uh, not a catch at that point, then it becomes basically an interception and by Mike, Chicago and a touchback. And Mike, on a, a question, did Anderson control the ball all the way to the ground for the interception? Is that something they're also reviewing through the process? And they would, and they got to look to see because he's under the same guidelines there because he is clearly going to the ground. So he has to maintain control of the ball when he does hit the ground. Review the play. The room on the field has changed. It is a oh! touchdown. Now I'm really confused. <laughs> I think Mike Pereira, the rule might need more clarification. <laughs> well, maybe I need more clarification, that's for sure. Because when we looked at this in real time, that ball comes out very, very quickly. And again, the whole notion, did he clearly become a runner? In slow motion, yes, but I'm inclined to look at it in real time. And that ball comes out very quickly. Well, it changes everything because no interception. Even on the field, it was first ruled a touchdown, then an interception.